Hello folks, you'll probably hear a lot of echo in this, but it's just the way the room is at the moment because it's empty. And hopefully what I'm about to do next is going to improve the acoustics in this room. Today I'm going to be installing my AccuPanel strip wall panels that I got from Wood Veneer Hub. Um, there's a link to Wood Veneer Hub in the video description and if you use the code NOTAGURUGYM you'll also get 5% off the products. I think they're going to look really cool and give a nice aesthetic in the videos. And more importantly, I guess, they'll hope to hopefully sort of even out the sound a bit in this room because as you can hear, the room's very live at the moment and I need to soak up some of those echoes and things. So it saves me a lot of time in sort of post-production when I'm editing videos. So I'm gonna show you the unboxing and then we're going to go through the process of how I actually install them. There are a couple of different ways to do it. So I'll talk through that. And then at the end, you'll see the finished product. Let's get cracking. So these are the panels I've gone for. They could come two to, to a pack and um, each pack is a lot heavier than you might expect. It's an MDF wrapped with a walnut veneer. They look absolutely awesome. I've just got to take this cellophane off. Um, it's called Lux Natural Walnut Wood Acoustic Wood Wall. Um, and for me, it just sort of jumped off the page. There are cheaper alternatives to this, but I thought this was well worth the money, to be honest. So. Um, as I said, it's heavier than you might expect. There are different ways to connect these to the wall. You can either go for screws, which means measuring out, um, putting in wall plugs and things, and then screwing through the felt to mount these to the wall. I'm actually gonna go for adhesive. Um, I've got some very high grip adhesive from Wood Veneer Hub. So I'm gonna be using that just because I've got reasonably good flat walls and I think it'll probably be quicker and easier for me to do as a one-man job. So let's get this unwrapped, that we'll then measure up and mark up and then start to cut. So there we go, that's all unwrapped. This is a real wood veneer, so you can oil this. Um, this comes pre-oiled, but you can oil this in future. You can do what you like with it, really. Um, just treat it like you would any sort of wood finish. All I need to do now is measure, 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 make sure I'm happy with those measurements, and then I'm gonna mark at three points on here. So I'll do one end, the other end, and then the middle, and I'll draw a straight line across that, and then cut it. Um, you can use uh, any kind of saw, really. I'm gonna use a very fine tooth hand saw, and hopefully that won't be too arduous and uh, we'll get through that. Obviously, if you've got a track saw or something, you could also use that, but you wanna use a really fine tooth blade so that you don't sort of destroy the wood as you're going through it. I should also mention that I was originally gonna do that entire space, but I've decided actually three panels wide will just leave about this much of a gap at each side. And I think it might look better with a little bit of a gap at each side. I don't know. Um, I think it will, so I'm going to do that uh, and then I'm going to put some on this back wall afterwards. So the next job is to measure from the bottom of the cove in there to the top of the skirting board. So that's what I'm going to do now. So this is a 240 centimetre long panel. My gap is 220 centimetres. So I'm just going to measure back 20 from the end here. And I'm going to mark it there, there, and there. And then I'm gonna use my spirit level, but you could use back a wood saw. Just get all that nicely lined up. And then there's my cut line. And I've got a new saw for this, which is probably quite a good idea. Now I'm just going to score this up with my standing knife. Just to help it saw along its way. Okay, so that's the first cut done and I've just lightly sanded the edges there just to take off any little burrs and things. Now it's time to offer this up to the wall before I put the adhesive on.
Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm now gonna put adhesive on and uh, we'll get the thing stuck to the wall. <gasps> Exciting. So this is the product. I'm using wood paneling adhesive from the Wood Veneer Hub. Um, and it says high, gr high instant grab, ultra high strength, hazardous free. Okay, so that one's now in place. That's the first panel. It's perhaps the most important one because if that one's not square, then none of them will be. Um, that looks pretty much square to me, so happy with that. Um, one bit of advice, I have got some tiny, tiny little marks in there from when I flipped it over to put the adhesive on. So I'm going to keep some cardboard or a towel or something on this table. Um, you may have a different setup. I'm using like a wallpaper table, basically. Um, but it might be an idea just to put something on that to protect the front of the panel. It's nothing major at all, and I'll literally go over it with some oil when I'm finished and it'll disappear, but just something to be aware of. That's this wall done. That's um, exactly how I wanted it, and I'm really pleased with how it's come out. And actually, it wasn't too difficult. Um, just the sawing's the most difficult thing, to be fair. Just a bit of uh, elbow grease and you get there. The skirting board's all over the place. Uh, on that particular wall but I think it's hidden quite well. Now we're going to move on to the next one. Same process again so I'm not going to show you everything but stay tuned for the big reveal at the end and I'll talk you through the costs. Right folks I'm all done and I can already hear less echo in this room. I've got no reason to tell you that other than the fact that it's the fact. The room's far less echoey than it was before. Um, I think once I've got curtains up in here and a desk and a bit of furniture, I think it would be a nice dead space. If I need a little bit more acoustic treatment, I can certainly get some acoustic tiles to stick on the wall. Um, but the other thing, which the aesthetic of it, I'm absolutely over the moon with. I think it looks great. I have got a new carpet coming in a couple of days. That's going to make a massive difference to the room. And yeah, I'm just over the moon with it right now. So here's the other wall that I've just finished. Let me take the camera off this a sec. And there you go. I think that looks very, very cool. And of course it's serving a purpose rather than just looking cool. And there's the other wall. So I'm going to have um, some kind of something there, a cabinet or something. So I want to have like some um, RGB lights projecting up there to give the room a bit more depth and to make the videos look a tiny bit more professional than having my printer in the background. And then over here will be my desk. I've got a gargantuan desk coming and all will be revealed, I guess, probably in the next video. So onto the financials, there are loads of different panels available from Wood Veneer Hub and indeed from elsewhere. Um, I went for these because of the quality. Um, I know someone else that's used Wood Veneer Hub in the past and said everything was seamless, really pleased with the quality, etc. So that's why I went for them. Um, the price on of the panels would have been £1,200. I've got one more panel, so I'm also going to put a little bit in my son's bedroom. Um, one in a, a bit, actually, so I've got a small offcut. Um, so I'm also going to put a little bit in my son's new bedroom. Don't forget, this used to be my son's bedroom and no longer is, so I want to make his new one nice for him. And then with the panel adhesive, that was 43 quid for the adhesive. They gave me four tubes. Um, I've used pretty much three so far and I've got one to go up so that seems about right so I would perhaps account for one tube for every two panels or one and a bit for every two panels um, and the corking gun I got from them as well was nine quid some of you will already have one of those and of course you could use that now of course you could also screw these to the wall if you've got plasterboard walls um, with a gap or anything you can just use plasterboard screws black plasterboard screws straight into the felt uh, which would be nice and easy, but actually I found the adhesive a piece of cake and it grips within the first one. I, it was real overkill for me, so I, I wanted to hold it there for a long time. But the last one I've just put up and I probably patted it down and held it in place for 30 seconds, but it, it literally grips as you put it to the wall. So you've got no issues there. You can still wiggle it around a tiny bit just for a few seconds so you can get it perfectly in position. 
um, but the installation process is fantastic really. As I said at the start of the video, if you want to get 5% off at the Wood Veneer Hub, use the code NOTAGURUGYM and you'll get 5% or you can click the link in the video description. Cards on the table folks, that is an affiliate link by the way, so if you use that link I will get a couple of percent or something as commission on your order, so I want to make you fully aware of that. Thanks for watching that folks, very random video for my channel but I thought some of you might find it interesting. Uh, the next video will probably be me putting my huge desk together, you'll see the new carpet which will hopefully be in by the time I make that one. Give this one a thumbs up, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Huge thanks to all my channel members for your continued support, I really do appreciate it.